It is a movie shot right here in Philadelphia, and there was a special screening this past Wednesday at the Trocadero Theater. Our Yuki Washington sat down with some of the stars of the new flick for a little preview. Check it out. The movie Calendar Girl was locally produced and shot mostly at the Aramingo Diner. It's a dark romantic comedy about a young woman whose poor taste in men may be the death of her when she tries to find love with her would-be killer. Joining me is Jensen Booker, who plays Ari, actor Brian O'Halloran, who you may recognize from Clerks and other Kevin Smith movies, and co-writer and co-director Derek Lindemann. Thank you all for being here. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Jen, let's start with you. Let's talk about Ari and how engaging is she and what should we expect out of her? Should we cheer for her or should we feel sorry for her? Tell us more about your character. Well, she's, she's kind of... Um bitter and um, not really that likable just because she always speaks her mind, always says a little bit too much, but you can't help but root for her. Okay. She's got a real sweet side. Give us a quick synopsis once again of the uh, story. Um, there is a serial killer loose in Philadelphia and every month he stalks and kills a different girl and now this is December and he writes a letter to the press um, that describes his next victim and my character Ari reads the letter mm -hmm. and is convinced that the next victim is going to be her and she's a little bit flattered by it. Okay, okay, ooh, all right. So. <laughs> got me going already. Brian, tell us how that guy next to you, D, brings out the best in you and Jan and the rest of the characters. What does he bring to the table? A lot of mess, less of mess. <laughs> um, no, uh, you know what? Uh, when they when they approached me to do the role um, to play this director, because uh -huh. now that the uh, the media has gotten a hold of this serial killer story, mm -hmm. it's it's always inevitable that the TV of the week type of true life story is made about something that has happened in real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm the director of the the now made to life TV movie of the week, and so uh, he asked me to portray this this actual director who's probably been on a heroin binge for like five days and he's trying to get this project done. So I play this small little cameo in the film that uh, I think people will enjoy. Fantastic. Derek, what about the, the origin of this story? The, the mindset of it all. How did you come up with this or partly come up with this? Uh, well, I was, uh, this was a script that has been kind of floating around a while. A young woman named uh, uh, Faith Brody had written it uh, when she was in college. And uh, it just kind of sat on shelf for a little bit and it kind of, uh, John Guarneri, our producer, kind of mm -hmm. brought it to me and he said, you know, I think the timing's right. I think we can do it. I think, you know, I would like you to kind of um, write it so that we can do it cheap. Put a little rewrite on it so we can get it done. And uh, so Faith and I worked really closely together and it's just kind of a, a, a neat little concept that um, Faith and John had come up with. And it, it was more, not so much a a story idea. It's more character. How the character reacts to this world that she's in. Okay. And, and the character of Ari just basically just pulls everyone through. And so it's not so much the uh, um, the situation in the world. It's okay. the character that really kind of brings out the whole story. Beautiful. And this story, uh, Brian, when it comes to the, the, the whole project in general, there are a lot of, I guess, uh, small budget films that have done some big things, mm -hmm. really big things. What's going to make this one, in your mind, a success? Um, what, what I think what makes it a success is because it's that dark comedy um, style, that's what you won't see in your, your, your normal mainstream type of comedy or mainstream horror film for that matter. Mm -hmm. This has a great blend of both. And the fact that also that it's made with such um, young talent, first time filmmakers and, and first time writers and producers, it has that, that energy that really you know pushes independent film that way. That's why I always enjoy working with uh, new directors and new producers and, and independent films in general because it, it feels like a family crew. Mm -hmm. You know, you're all pulling together to get the project done, and, and I think that's what uh, will push this further than others. Speaking of a family, Jen, you're here in Philadelphia at the Aramingo Diner. How does that become another character in the film, if it does? Just that setting. There, a lot of the film does play, take place in the diner, and that's where my character Ari works, and, and we have... Um, we have different characters that play like your quirky regulars in the diner and everything else. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Is it tough to make a film these days, uh, on on this level and in general? Uh, it was a lot of work. Okay. It was a lot of work, but um, we had done it so. Uh, it was just planned out so well. Um, and you know they kind of say in business, you know, film is a business. And they say in business you can get it good, fast, and cheap. We can only pick two. Uh, on this shoot, we just had everybody did all three, right? And it was just phenomenal kind of work with the the crew and the team, and the cast, and everybody was put together. Mm. And we had a 12-day shoot, um, which is just unbelievably oh, short. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we uh, just shot so much, just unendlessly shot. If there was people on set, the camera was rolling. And what we have is just uh, it's extremely impressive. We've got about 10, 
10 seconds left. Tell me where this goes now after the test screening. Uh, it's going to go to some festivals. Uh, we're going to send around some festivals. We're also planning a premiere proper. Uh, in Philadelphia. We would love to do the world premiere in Philadelphia, so we're working on doing that. It's looking like November. I'd really like to do a December Christmas okay. sort of uh, premiere. I think they can check really more cool. information out if they want to uh, calendargirlthemovie.com, and that'll keep them updated all the time. We have a Facebook page and all that stuff. Save me a seat in December. When Absolutely. You have Absolutely. Continue success. Good luck to all of you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank Keep you. an eye out. Calendar Girl could be coming to a theater near you and very soon. Back over to the news desk.